Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go and just clarify a little bit on how I identify the highs and the lows. I had some comments um, in the videos that just states like a little bit unsure on which highs and lows to use. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly that. Now, I use the valid um, so I use the valid fractal highs and fractal lows. Now, what is a fractal high and what is a fractal low? So for example, if you have three candles like this, you'll see in this example, this would be a fractal low. The reason why it's a fractal low, it's because the left-hand side candle and the right hand side candle is higher than the middle candle. It's higher than the middle candle. So that's a valid fractal low. Then it's the same example for a buy, uh, for a fractal high. As you can see, As you can see, the left hand side candle is lower than the middle candle. The right hand side candle is lower than the middle candle. So fractal low, fractal high. So these are the formation that I look for when I want to find a valid high and a valid low. I hope that makes sense. All right. Right, so let's quickly see if we can identify some highs and lows. So let's quickly zoom in. This works on every time frame. Um, in this case example, I'm just on the boom thousand pair. But as you can see, there is a fractal high. Left candle is lower, right candle is lower. Let's go down, down, down. Here we go. There's a fractal low. Why? Left candle is higher, right candle is higher. There's another fractal low again. There is a fractal high. Why? Again, because the left hand candle is lower than the middle, right hand candle is lower than the middle. Now we had, for example, a huge push down. So where's going to where's my fractal low going to be? This one here, because left higher, right higher. So that for this push, this is my high, this is my low. Now we're going to have internal structure as well. So now we got a high low high low high this is just some example so this is the bigger picture this is the higher time frame high higher time frame low and then anything between this range is going to be internal structure but that's how i that's how i identify my highs and my lows i hope that helps If you are struggling to identify the highs and the lows, there's an indicator you can use on um, the Deriv platform, the Deriv Trading View. You can literally go to indicators and you can search fractal. It will be Williams Fractal. You put it on. As you can see, high, low, high, low, high. Okay, that's still a valid high, low was created. There's no fractal high there. Fractal low, fractal high, fractal low, high, low, high. So now, all right, so let's quickly use this as an example. This is a really good example. So if I was, if I wanted to trade this market structure, right? Because we are in a boom market. Where is on the where are where's the high on the higher time frame? 
it's the year, right? Let's quickly just mark that out. So it will be the four hour high. And then in this big impulse move, this would be the four hour low. Let's just put it at the bottom. So everything inside, as we just explained, is going to be internal highs and lows, internal market structure. Okay, so if I was about to, if I wanted to trade this, let's see what happened. If you watched my previous videos on how I trade, we wait for the liquidity to be swept. Let's just mark that out. Liquidity sweep. Did we have a market structure? Yes. There we go. So I'm marking it at this fractal low. Market structure shift. Then what do we have inside where market wants to go to? Now we have, you can use this fair value gap here. Let's just mark that out as well as a fair value gap. Let's put it inside. And then you'll see as well, somewhere in this market structure, in this candles here, there will be an order block probably, but we will go down and go find it. So I want market to retrace there. Okay, but now, you want to trade the move up before we continue downwards. Now, what happens in the boom and the crash market, a lot of people, they buying in the um, buying in the sell, they buying in the crash market and selling in the boom market. And then you get stopped out and then you ask yourself, no, the market is m manipulating you and everything like that. It's not necessarily the case. We have a huge down move. Let's see what happens when we zoom out. What happened there? Okay, so when we are on the, when we looked out, as you can see, we are in an uptrend. Here we were starting making lows again. We broke this high. Now let's see what's happening here. So as you can see, this was our high. We had a liquidity sweep on the higher time frame. So this is how you need to look at the market. Look for the story. Liquidity sweep. We never broke this low. Market pushed higher. Liquidity sweep. We broke this low. Valid market structure shift. So now we know we are in a downward movement. But until where? Let's quickly zoom out. Let's take it to the next step. If you follow market structure, let's say, for example, this leg here, from this low to this high, everything inside is internal market structure. So this was my low. This was my high. Sorry, I'm just doing it in, on a, to make it a little bit more visible. We never broke this low. So market is telling us, all right, we still going to the upside. As you can see here, liquidity was poached, market went up, broke that high. So as soon as this high was broken, where would the next valid low and high be? So that high was broken. The lowest point in this move was here. And the highest point was there, where we marked out our four hour high. Do you agree? So now, again, we want market to come down below the 50%. If you don't know what, how why I do it, please go watch my other videos. I explain it there as well. So let's draw our FIP. So we want market to at least come to the 50%. I'm just going to do that. Going to delete it, the FIB. 
going to make this a different color. Let's make it red. So this is my 50%. So I'm looking for buys anywhere to of, of the 50%. Do you agree? Now let's quickly have a look. So market came down, market made that big push. Where did price react from? From the 50%. Now let's say you want to trade, because remember we still got this fair value gap, because market needs to retrace to the 50% of this level, from this high to this low. Market needs to come to the 50% level. That would basically be this area here. Market still needs to come to that area. We are currently in this area. Let's just mark this one out. Let's just change the color. There we go. So market is currently in this area above the 50%. So market um, reacted from the 50% on the, remember, on this leg, market reacted on the 50%. Now we use this leg as mark out the 50% where market is likely to retrace to. And you can go test this, this works. I promise you, I promise you, it works by understanding market structure and how to use highs and lows. Now let's say, for example, you wanna, so market reacted, we see this big push, all right? So let's quickly delete this, we know that's the 50%. Let's quickly delete this, we know that's the 50%. Okay, so I'm just going to focus on this area here now. So we reacted from the 50. Let's just mark this high out. So this high was created, a fractal high was created. Sorry. Fractal high was created there. So let's quickly zoom in. I just want to change the settings here. There we go. Okay, so that's a high and a low. Let's go to the one hour. Now you can see everything a little bit more clear. So this was the reaction from that 50%. Do you agree? That was the high. We know we need to trade into this fair value gap. Why? Because on the higher time frame, when we draw our FIP, this is above our 50%. So we know price is more likely going to boom until the 50%, minimum the 50%. Now, let's quickly have a look. So price reacted, okay. What happened? There was, so now we look back. Now we look back, all right. The reason why price reacted was, because we were, we were at the 50%, all right. But we also entered a fair value gap. So that's an extra confluence. Also, we took liquidity, so it was a liquidity sweep. Do you agree? We had a reaction. Guess what? We had a market structure shift. Why? Fractal high was broken market structure shift now let's draw our fib literally from this low to this high where is the area we want to target from the 50 and below you see how i'm using the fib as um where market needs to go to 
So we're going to look for anything that's below the 50%. Guess what we have? We have a fair value gap. Fair value gap. Guess what? We also a fair value gap inside an order block. So it's a fair value gap inside an order block in our 50%. In our higher time frame analysis, liquidity sweep, fair value gap at the 50% level, you can literally take this trade you can buy from the order block or the fair value gap stops below this low the fractal high a fractal low and you target the next level of liquidity and that's going to be a one basically a two risk to reward trade beautiful trade on the one hour this is a huge trade if you didn't enter from the order block, but you wanted to enter from the fair value gap, all of a sudden it becomes a 2.6 risk to reward trade. The beautiful trade. Now let's see what happens. Okay, now we know it's a continuation because market broke this high. Okay, because we did meet our rules here. Now let's see what's inside of this leg here let's first identify the 50 percent 50 percent and below cool let's quickly delete this let's just delete all the old ones as well let's change the color quickly again just want to delete some of it so it's nice and clear so in this leg that we just got our trade we took our profits there this is the 50 percent what's resting in that 50 percent and below we have an order block that's resting there order block What's inside of this order block as well? We have a breaker block. That's there. Let's just change the color. Let's quickly go a little bit to a lower time frame. Let's see what else. There we go. Now we can refine our entry that we're looking for beneath the 50%. What do we have? We have this fair value gap here that's closest to the low. And we still have our breaker block there that lines up with that order block. But if we enter from here, if we enter here, the low is too low so your risk is going to be huge so me personally would i enter from this breaker block no because the risk is too high but this is a nice fair value gap and risk is 100 percent let's quickly go down see if we can even more minimize our risk quickly have a look no you can but there's fair value gap fair value gap fair value gap fair value gap it's going to be too confusing so i'm seeing the entry on the 30 minute so if i'm seeing it on the 30 minute i don't have to go lower to time frames so now where are, where's our target remember this fair value gap so we enter there, our stops just below this low, and you can take a trade again, target the fair value gap, 
1.6 risk reward trade then again this is an extremely good trade for boom 1000 you don't always have to target the 20R trades and this ridiculous amount of trades. If you want to be consistent, these are the types of trades you are going to look for as well. Don't aim for the sky. Aim for what pays your bills. All right. Okay, now we on the 30 minute. Remember on the 4 hour, let's quickly go back. On the 4 hour we couldn't identify an order block there. Let's go to the 1 hour. And I told you that there would be some order block or something there in that market structure. Here we go. On the 1 hour we have our order block there. Order block. What did market do? All right. Now you can even, so we got our trade there. Fair value gap was fold. All right. Because it was fold, you can delete the trade. Now you're just analyzing. Why? Because I don't trade crash in the boom market. So now I'm just analyzing to see what the market is doing. All right, we entered, we tapped our um, order block there. Let's quickly see how the reaction was. Let's go to the 30 minutes. Okay, what can we see on the 30 minute? Same thing, exactly the same thing. Before we entered our point of interest, we had a liquidity sweep. We had a market structure shift at this fractal low. Let's draw our FIP, literally. Anything above the 50% if you wanted to sell. Because now remember we are in a short term downtrend. Let's just change this color. So this is the 50% area. What do we have? Let's go down to the 15 minute. So we had our liquidity sweep. We had our market structure shift. But again, I don't sell in the boo market, don't buy in the crash market. What do we have? The big impulse move. All right. We have our order block there. Let's change the color. Could have entered your trade there. Stops above the high. Where would you target now? Let's quickly look at the higher time frame. I personally, if I look at this big leg, what we drew out, look here again, you can draw it literally the lowest to the highest. Where's this area's 50%? There we go. Let's just delete the FIB. This is my 50% area. Let's change the color. Sorry for all the colors and the blocks, but I hope you understand. This is the 50% area. What do we have in our 50%? We have a fair value gap. We have a Fair value gap there inside of an order block. Let's just delete this 50%. So that can be my target. All right. That's a 2.2 .2 risk to reward trade. You can even target there. That's a 3.17 risk to reward trade. And you can target your 
liquidity and that can be a 4.2 risk to reward trade if you wanted to trade the opposite direction but this is how i follow market structure literally fractal highs fractal lows looking for a point of interest looking for a reaction first use this indicator for example fractal lows and fractal highs to help you draw your fib below or above the 50 depends which way you're selling you want below the 50 if you're buying and above the 50 if you're selling and then look for your point of interest enter and target Anal and analyze on your higher time frame for example the four hours and then you continue and that's how i follow market structure and that's how i look at the market i hope this video was insightful if you liked it please like and subscribe share my videos and yeah um, i would be doing something really awesome in the next video or two i'm going to look a little bit at the nas 100 pair as well for you that trade that i'm going to do the nas 100 pair for all of you for those who trade forex and prop firms and everything like that as well same concepts different pairs see you in the next video cheers